Hello everyone and welcome back to Adam Schumann here and we are finally in spring, we're in March now. A lot has happened, money's gone up, money's gone down and I think the best thing to do is a very quick little time lapse of what we've done and then we'll resume with the rest of the episode here I think and yep episode 20 is going to be a big episode for us. happened we've done a lot of work and did off off camera work and some bits I wish I in hindsight should have shown but we will do those bits again but first of all we've got three massive hay bales and this is from the contract that we've done here so if we go and have a look go and complete those contracts Get another free grand for those, and we made a bit of money as well. So the rest of these bells, or the bell loader, could go in there. And yeah, so wait a minute, what's going on here? Who's caused the traffic jam? This is nothing to do with me, I swear. Sir, what the heck are you doing? You're planning on turning left, and you start to turn there. That is... That person should lose their license. Saying that, and my driving ain't the best sometimes, but yeah, so... Anyways, we're back into the John Deere AR. We've spent 66 grand, we upgraded to the ATR410. We previously had the 375, I think. And already, yeah, this is part of the episode where we get stuck with a lesson a couple of minutes in, and we've already done that. <laughs> ah, there we go, we've got it free. Nope. It's quicker just going the proper way rather than the little shortcut. By the way, so we've got this Demco, pretty much similar to the one that we've got, the Oracle Wagon. However, the nozzle in here, rather than being your typical, it just spills it out, it's got a little chopper there, 
So we can fill this up with sugar beet. And from that, we can get some sugar beet cut. So if we go to there, we'll fill up with the sugar beet. And if we pop into our brand new Samoy Trader, the TLX Phoenix with the Cummins engine is pretty beaten up. I think it's more metal than paint, but we'll scoot over that little detail there. Because we're gonna go to the shop and look at all the brand new equipment we bought. Some of them I did show in the time maps if I remember to show that in editing. But yeah, some bits we bought new, some bits we did buy second hand, so. Let's go over what we've bought, because we had like, like over half a meal at some point. So we've got the mold shirt, this is going to be for the fieldwork. We need to do this first of all, that's brand new. We bought the Trans-70 Trader, that's brand new. We bought the 3162 Terrafax 45 Footer, that's brand new. We bought the Logistics Tipper Trader, with the extension capacity, so it's going to hold 110 thousand litres, so that was second hand. Bought the John Deere plow, that is second hand. And lastly, I think it was like near on 50% off, the case axle flow 9250. We did pay extra for the tracks and that's just been right there. That's just there. <coughs> As it was already off taking them back to the shop for some reason. And there's the plow over there. I think I just placed that there just Mainly because of just putting somewhere out of the way. Because we need to take the plow down today. Down to our little field section by 34, 36 and 37. Just because of we want to get the field screen over there. However, we're going to have a little look. No, I lost a few bits. Half time to get a brand new, well, another near brand new, um, what's it, tractor. That's because I do want to upgrade the cultivator with a shadow cultivator. However, there's, again, there's no real massive ones. I think the, is this one here, the John Deere 2680H. However, that requires a lot of horsepower, it's 560. And our biggest, what we can do at the moment is, yeah, 458, so it could be like 100 horsepower short. Which does suck a little bit, but you know what? I don't mind that. So now that trailer is filled up with sugar meat. And now, if we empty it, that spout should shred those sugar beets. And we should get, there we go, sugar beet cut. And that can be used to make a side dish because we have been really busy with productions. All the animals have been fed, they're still going strong, do that off camera. So starting from upper sound, grain mill, it's running our produce. Don't really need you anymore. Greenhouse is chugging away. Sawmill, I does need some lumber today or this month. So, starting off with the carpentry, we'll have a look at that again in a bit because we we put in a little storage, yeah, a little storage place over by the sawmill, and that has drastically helped us with the need to sell stuff daily because of the ridiculous pallet limit. I know I still rambles on about that, but it is a real pain in the neck. But anyways, with spinnery, we got 40,000 euros of fabric, along with whatever's been spawned already. With the dairy plant, we sold all the butter. Now, with the field factory, this is what we be doing off camera. So, we'll turn those on. 
So I want to make some silage in that today. We've made quite a bit of TMR. Also, we did make manure, not from here, we did use the manure factory at the end. Oh no, did I show you it? No, we did talk about it. But yeah, I'm, we're not including the time that, so if I didn't, I do apologise, but 20 grand, worth every penny. We still got some straw left over because I want to keep some for bedding for the cows and that. But if we have a look here. So yeah, that's all gone. We do have some manure produced from the cows. But I just say in that with Surrey, I may be looking something into that in future episodes, especially with the update to the modular biogas plant. Or should I say the modular BGP by Caster DS Agar Service. We'll have a little explore that because there has been a nice update to that today. And yeah, I am going to love that a lot, especially with the new bits that's including it today. Yeah, well, we'll get over that in a few episodes. So I'm around about episode 25 to 30, perhaps. Well, I'll say perhaps around episode 25 because. Yeah, it's just like we've come along so way in the, just a couple of episodes where we've been struggling for money, but now not really. But just in general, we've got some slides there. We are gonna make some TMR because we do have some hay in there still. But yeah, let's go down to what we've got. TMR. 391,000, 405 litres. That was like 406,000 litres before we fed the cows. But also, we've made a lot of solid fertiliser. 290,000 litres of that. And whilst I've been chatting away, that has done its thing. Actually, have we run out of sugar beet? Yes, we have. So, and we'll put it into the fields factory. Also, today in this episode, yeah, I think the goal for the episode start the field work for the next crop because we need to get back into agricultural farming. Of course, all this bits is all good in that, but. Agricultural farming is the way to go. However, also we need to change the yard a bit after deleting some of the fields here. Just because of with the new facilities we put in. Yes, we did talk about field 19, we did buy the fields. However, I do have a plan for that. So actually, let's go to Precision Farm in a sec. What is the yieldage from that field? Last harvest, it was around 75%. Down here though, we did hear a few rough patches. That was because of us. However, I think that's going to be a better soil area just because if we wait a minute do we not take a soil sample of this field let's purchase the soil map there we go so that is what we want to see we want ideally we want as much loam as possible sandy loam is okay silty clay and loam sand not so much for yieldage Hence why we be struggling with the yieldage in our sections of the field up here. Wait a minute, did we... I thought we purchased... Ah, there we go, that's going to help us. So this field here, that explains a lot. When we go to... yeah. If we go to the crop harvest... Mostly was 115 to 120% yieldage. 
That is because most of that was alone. Where we did rubbish was when it was alone. And again, with the help of position farming, that is what we want to look at. Around here, as we start going up the hill, there is more loam. And that's the thing I'm thinking. Could we potentially start looking at going up here? Now, that says it's roughly. That's what we want. We want. Should we, should we buy that field? It'd be a nice extension. I've got a bit of clay up there. I think it's got loam, which is very good, but also the silty clay. That what brings it down. And just looking at the other fields. Yeah, sandy loam, 100%. That's what we expect. But yeah, with field yieldages. And this is why I went down here. Because yes, it's not the greatest. But it is that loam, sandy loam. So I can work with that. We just need to plow that out. Yes, we're going to do some environmental scores that this year and that. Just because of how it all works and that, but... You know what, that I'm going to work around with, to be honest. That, not an issue for me whatsoever. So yeah, we've got 6,000 litres of wool. Actually, what we could do is get a worker off on its way. And take you there. So whilst that's doing that, we can hop into you, take the rest of the be over, should we have cut it, perhaps yes, it's going to be more worth it, however I'm just curious to see how much, how much we get in terms of the production overall. From what I know, from what I've been told, from what I've seen with Mr. CP, well, with some wild series where you have multiple, basically, when you have a production producing the same product, like in the same, well, let's explain it more clearly here. With silage, because we're doing all different sections, we ain't going to get the maximum 864 cycles per month. That's going to be split across one to three areas of work but you know what again that, that I'm, I'm fine with it if I just want to see how it looks now yeah it's more for looks than actual function yeah we're being a bit architectural there with we'll form over function really we should be the work of an engineer of where we like no, we want to be as, as effective as possible, regardless of how it looks, but, yeah. So there we go, we are put in, we should be in. And now that's off on its way, next we just need grass, and we can get that with the help of you. We did collect all the grass and hay and whatnot from the fields. I think in total we got about seven to eight bells off the, the big massive bells of hay and grass. So hay's already gone in. Grass will fill you up. Yeah, things like the biogas plant. Did we need to buy it now? Heck, no, we didn't. We didn't need to buy it now. However, it was the top like three or four biggest ones we could possibly get, so well heck it, why not? Why not indeed? As we go and return you. We'll get you over to the plow. Because yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. We're in March. Oh yeah, we forgot about the grapes. Grapes are race harvest. They've been ready for months. Get some grape juice out of the way. 
we need to quickly throw like this, so we'll only take a minute or two to throw like this, and that. We've got to put the pathways in. So much to do, but things like the pathways, that could be done towards the end of the episode, I think. Whereas things like this. What's wrong with that yellow car? Like, I know it falls down in around a lot, but really, you can't move? It's not even the road! Move! Damn yellow Citroen 2 CVs. Yeah, that was because I reversed it into the road, so that's I'll be forgiven with. Have a rush, no spoil over here a sec because we need to go over here and put the grass in. But yeah, terms of this, like, keep on producing as much as we can for now. Actually, no, should be. Actually, you know what? Now, nah, I think we should just get the silage, sell it. Because also, one thing I want to get done today is get the things like the Midwest production in by Schultz Modding. I want to get the diesel production in as well, so we can make diesel, we can make bioethanol. And then once we get the bioethanol plant and that in, we can potentially look at what we need for like corn that, cornmeal and all that. Of course with that we need money, so... That's the thing, we need money, so you know what? Let's go... And crash into our stuff, as we always do. Of course that's tradition! Some places, like, on their, like, Alpine F1, a tradition of over there seems to be of screwing both your current and future drivers and that. If you're a Formula 1 fan, you know what I'm on about. <laughs> With the whole driver's market situation. And for us, it's just crashing everywhere. But anyways, we'll get us filled up, and where is the best place to sell. Where's the best place to sell? Nope, dang it. Fertilizer 2. Sell everything container. Yeah, they're about both right. Actually, you know what? Ah, I can't be arsed to go that far down south. So we'll go to the one by the hand of sell point. So, yeah. I'll take you over there, and I'll see you folks in a second here. And there we go, we took the long way up, cut, cruise, cut across through all the woodland, and you know what? Not doesn't phase at all. Comfortably going up there 15, 16 miles an hour with 108,000 years worth of solid fertilizer. And then since we're up here already, we can go to the sawmill and have a big chat about that because this we don't necessarily need anymore. We'll see you need it for all the other stuff, but things like the pellets and that, not really. Oh boy. That is a lot of money. Crikey. Sorry to hit me, it's all straight in there, but... Oh, mama. Well over 300 grand there. You know what? That covers cost of... I think that's going to cover cost of everything that we're going to do this episode, so... I should know, I'll say this episode, things like the diesel and all that, that's going to be put in... in the next episode. Because we've got too much to do... And as much as it'd be nice to have it, we need to start getting the fields prepped because next episode in April, during February, March, April, yep, yeah, 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 in April, <laughs> had to count the months there. Oh, crazy speeds there. We want to be planting. I know we're going to need corn, soybeans. Also, we need to do a cereal crop to get the straw and that. But again, it's what else do we need? So I'm thinking 
Somewhere like field six, we plant, not planted, ploughed that middle section off camera, I think not in the last episode or episode before. Somewhere along the way, we plow that little circle out. No issues whatsoever. So that's going to be our soybean field, I think. Yeah, I have a massive amount of soybean. But anyway, so here we are. And we're going to have a little chat here before we go back to doing farming work. Apologize for the noise. So we need to get the wheeler up here to load the timber into here. We're also run out sometime tonight. Because we've had this whole pad spoiling issue of we've been sorting stuff every day. But things like this furniture. The only good time to sell it is in February ish and July. So rather than having it all stored up in here, back logging up, we just pay some nice people and they can store this and they can hold about a piece of like two million litres worth of product in total. Which is way more than we ever need here. Things like pellets and that just chuck you in. Oop. Oop. That's loose, essentially. I have no issues with pads whatsoever. Sorry about that. Got slightly interrupted there. So yeah, we've just been chucking all this in. No, well, no issues whatsoever, apart from me forgetting to lift these up. And it just holds it. So yeah, 20, not 22 million liters. There's a massive one that holds like 20 million liters, but this holds so far, it's got 35,000 litres or 36,000 litres of furniture and 3,000 litres of pellets. And that's because in this trailer here, we've got 28,000 litres of pellets. So, so yeah, sorry, the engine might actually help. We say disconnect to you, sec. Because during the way, we'll just knock you around. There we go. Get this hooked up. This is why I've got the TX Phoenix as well, because it can do this. <coughs> and this holds 50,000 litres of product. Anything it can hold, so it is within the realms of realism. We pay someone to store. Well, yeah, we pay someone to store it. We you bought. This is what this will be what we own. But this is provided by the pallet storage facility people. So this one for some weird reason. However, we bought it. It's ours. We just bought it from the same place who offer us the storage and something like that. It's a, it's a mutual deal. It benefits both of us. They get a customer and we get somewhere to source off when the game sites say no. You cannot have more than 50 pallets on PlayStation 4 or last gen consoles or 50, 60 whatever pallets on the current gen consoles. So yeah, a bit of reason and not so <laughs> realism there. But anyways, this has gone off way too long now so... I think it's time to actually get some farming done here, so what I'm going to do here is take this down and pretty much what isn't merged together will get merged together. Ideally we need to do the mulching first of all. Actually, well, I think, you know what, yeah. we'll mulch first, then we'll plow everything together, then for the sake of position farming and get the maximum yield bonus. Hopefully it allows us to, so if we cultivate over it, then in theory it should let us get the extra bonuses, but will it, will it not? I actually have no idea. Also which, one thing I forgot. There we go, so yeah. 42,000 years plus, 4, 5, 6, 7, no, yeah. We'll need a tear store at some point, folks. Yeah. So we'll put the wall in here. 
that's eating all of it up. That's going to just demolish that as if it was nothing. But yeah, so that we'll deal with another time. That, again, something we've got to do in the next episode. So yeah, this is why I think we'll keep times like around to sort of lowerish times just so we can get work done. We and you know what's about reason or not I re not so reason? That is probably not so reason. But anyway, so before we do a little timeout so I'm getting all this work done. So the goal is extend the field, we'll extend from around here down from where the edge line is here along the pathway and again pretty much around up to where the tree line is and then up and across along the top edge of the pathway before curving back down here I think with this what we'll do is sort of like how it's done at the moment where it's like this curve go down this gradient here where you see the little white dot flow it around or you know what I think we should just go I think you know what the best option is just go straight up and down so it's going to be a bit rectangular I will try to add a bit of a curvature to it so it looks more flowing that, but the problem is farming at this kind of slope is like 45 degree slope at least. And that's just going to put a lot of stress and wear on our vehicles. Chances of us going to miss like bits of seeding, bit of mulching in that, bit of harvesting, and then yeah, pretty much any loose bits here is going to get ploughed up eventually. But first of all, what we need to do is mulch, so... I'm sorry Plow, you're going to have to wait another minute, I'll let you recover. But yeah, we need to get the mulcher, get everything mulched, and then get this field work done, I think.
is all the mulching done. We've created a new field. We took the soil samples. Also, I did send back the trans tree that we got because I forgot we got one ready and I've left it here by the sorry yard. So we'll slightly ignore that. But anyways, we've got 54,000 litres of fabric. And now, the money's gone down, that's because we bought the tater store. And it is located just around here by the buy gas plant. So let's try thinking the road that goes to the BGA. Is it here? Nope. Nope, might, might gone past it. So, I mean, where is the... Ah, it's right there. Ignore me. <laughs> My sense of direction. So, yeah, we'll head down here, and, yeah. And, actually, speaking of the bias, where's this whole Demolger BGP being updated recently? I'm thinking if we can earn enough money, then perhaps we could. Because remember, to buy the land itself, not a lot of money, only 117 grand for the actual biogas plant itself. is like 1.1 million, I think it was. Or something in that realm region, so. Potentially we could look at that. No, no, we're going to change our clothes. So the clothes will come out of here. There we go, that's what we want. So we'll start making some clothes and we'll get near three and a half thousand years of clothes a month. And if we have a look at the prices for clothes, when is it the best time to sell clothes? Now, pretty much. <laughs> oh, typical. Yeah, pretty much now. Yeah. So we got till about July. According to that, I could be slightly wrong though. So pretty much when we ever get our first bunch of clothes, we'll start selling that because yeah, we get like near on twenty-six grand for them. So. Or should we just hold on to it and cast thing with this whole this year is gonna be a very good profiting year for the farm. Cause in the next episode what I really want to do is one, grapes they need to be harvested. But also I want to get into become more self sufficient. We've pretty much got everything on the way on the go. All we really need is sea production. I ain't gonna take too long to do. As well as provide our own power. So I'm thinking, if we go back to the main farm area, go over here, and I'm thinking, move the trailer, we'll sort of clear all the shrubbery off in that, and I'm thinking, we could put some solar panel sound so we can make some nice clean green energy I think we could get about seven or eight solar panels down and until that gets us nine grand a month so that is 90, 108 grand per year so yeah, it's going to take about 12 yeah about 11 months for it to pay itself off but it's going to be worth it in the long run but then also, I'm thinking a lot of things like perhaps we can have a little gas station where we can sell canisters of gas and that. However, also, if we go to factories. And if we go to. Which one was it? Uh, this one here. Get the ethanol and diesel plant. Put that in for only 80 grand. Yes, potentially we can look at making some forage and pig food. Sorry about that. Um, for some reason, getting slightly around the crash and I had to redo everything. Because I didn't save the game through, so apologies there. 
But yeah, as, as we were saying about the ethanol plant, so have a little look here again. Down here, just past the modular. So yeah, something like this, thinking putting somewhere down here, because we do have access and permission to use this land here. But the problem is, we have to clear trees away. Perhaps have to put some fencing up so it protects the road users from the plant. Well, protects the plant from the road users more so, but. Got police and local authority now, so I'm thinking. Okay, the bits comes up there. Ah, okay, that's I see it. Want to see where everything goes in and out? So, I see where it goes in. We want it somewhere like this. So I'm thinking somewhere like that, where it's running flush against the dryer. Actually, perhaps. I wonder. That's a really good spot there as it is. Perhaps, yeah, I'm thinking, perhaps get ask the local authority. Say, so could we perhaps get this demolished since it ain't really needed, it ain't in great demand anymore. We've got our own facilities off making whatever we need to. So, if they want, they can come over here and use our facility if any of the local farmers want to dry their grass out to get silage or to get I think there's a hay as well I think no that's our soil at the farm yeah the farms yeah so they want the hay now from the grass out with silage we can cover that easily now we can cover that with the field products factory so any farmers want to come in, they can. Perhaps just pay us, I don't know, a small commission, like say a couple of hundred quid. Perhaps something like that. Nothing too expensive. Just basically run, running costs now. Like from the time they put stuff into where it's extracted. Perhaps, yeah, we could possibly charge local farmers if they wish to use it. So, yeah, that's that. We're going to get some diesel. How much diesel have we got left over? 5,000 litres, but we do use a lot of fuel. I was, I was like at 10 or not 10, like 15, 20 ish thousand litres, maybe 25,000 litres when we first started this series. But also, money's gone down in several ways because one, we had two beehives, now we've got a lot more beehives. So I thought we'll get some more animals in. So, yeah. Lots of beehives there. And also, we did have the sorry problem with the cows of having the issue of them. Well, how shall I put it? Filling up with sorry so quickly and I'm just to set it very quickly in that. So, the solution is we put in a little sorry tanker. This holds over half a million liters. Actually, can we go towards it? But if you near it, and no, let's just go to it. Got so much stuff in that. There we go. So yeah, storage free there. It holds half a million liters. Nice little access way. Still access around here. Yes, pretty tight. Uh, with the whole ground working out, we will do that. Unfortunately, that won't be today. Perhaps tomorrow, next month in April, we'll have a look at that. Getting groundwork for them, like, yeah, just like tie things up a bit, just make it look more proper. So, you complete bells, we'll put you over here. There we go, and I think last thing to do today is we'll hop into you. And just get the rest of this timber sorted. So, I did do a few bits of timber because I knew we needed timber in that. So, again, if we have a look, go up. Carpentry, got a bit more wood in. 
it still needs 48,000 litres a day, so we need to really do some big logging very soon. But then also with the normal sawmill, we did put a little bit more in, so it's at 25,000 litres of timber. That's going to last about another four or five months, so. And that's the thing, that, that's the issue I think we're going to have here is getting all the timber in. Because we have moved a fair load already, as you can see. Before it was just logs everywhere, now it's just in certain spots. Ideally, we can do it with oh, a trailer just to do big bulk transports and that. Because remember, at the time when we did the login, we were still like struggling financially, borrowing everything, borrowing it for months on end, and all that as well. Oh, there's a few bits over here and that. So yeah, I think what we'll do is quick get all this taken over. All this will go to the carpentry. Saw me itself that I can live with now. Because I perhaps I may get the uprated sawmill in perhaps, but yeah, that's gonna be another day, I think. I think something like that, get the new sawmill in that can do basically the same thing at the moment, planks and that. But also it could do beams and that. I think that yeah. That would be more what we'll do during the winter. So yeah, we're talking about winter and we even started cultivating yet. That's how big I'm thinking. Get the big picture in mind, but yeah. We'll get the rest of this done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments here. So, all in all, that is 43,000 years of timber, and that's barely just enough for a month. Actually, even though it doesn't need 46, 46, 48,000 years per month. I'll note it's down here. So, yeah, 48,000 years per month. So, yeah, look at the wood chips. 1.8 mil. That is nice. 1.8 mil of wood chips. That's going to last us for a while. And on that note, that's where I think we're going to end it today. So, next time we'll resume in April. Cultivation needs to do it. Needs to harvest the grapes, then prune them. And then clean up the yard, do all the dirt path where we've got some people coming in with some dirt and that that we can use to lay the foundations and all that so yeah i hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash that button feel free to comment down below 
If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this will be part of my stream. And I'll see you all very soon.